Hello guys and welcome to the first video of the Skyrim tutorial series. To give you an overview of uh, what you can expect from this series, we will cover how to find the entity list, how to hook there and how to create an array of entities. Uh, in a later video we will write the ESP using this array and um, finding the few metrics and probably later on um, how to use no clip how to fly around in the world and teleport to the map marker and maybe something else like small assembly manipulations uh, knobbing stuff and uh, changing instructions and stuff like that we will start with an overlay which you can use but you don't have to um, i used this uh, hybrid overlay a lot of times in the past it's an hybrid, it means that it's a DLL you can inject into the game and it will create a DirectX overlay which will be used to um, draw the menu on. One of the biggest advantages in here is that, that you don't really have to focus on the game's engine. So you can inject this DLL into a very old games from the 80s um, uh, OpenGL game or one of the newest DirectX games, it doesn't really matter because once you inject your menu will be there and you will just uh, draw the menu on top of the game and um, yeah, it just works. So if you don't want to deal with the, with the game's engine, it's, uh, it's a perfect way to display your menu. Um, but you can't use it in uh, full screen mode. So uh, what you have to do is you have to choose uh, window mode or uh, what newer games also uh, support most of the time is borderless window. Uh, let's have a quick look. It's pretty easy to use. And um, I also pre-configured most of the stuff for you already. So um, in the overlay CPP, there is uh, a function called get target window where you have to write down the game's window name in this case. Um, yeah, for Skyrim, I did this already. If you want to use it for a different game, you have to change this, obviously. Uh, another important point is uh, the DirectX CPP. In the top, you will see the, uh, the options displayed uh, for the menu right now we have three if you want to expand this go on you have to just uh, add more options um, uh, in, in in this uh, kind of style in here and uh, it have to match the number in here and um, once you did this you can scroll down here you see already the uh, the uh, insert check so if you press insert you can show and hide the menu if the menu is uh, visible uh, it will show the menu. Right now um, we have here the header, Skyrim tutorial and stuff like that. I will show you this one in a second and uh, if you want you can change the keys here. We have home and uh, end to switch between different options and delete and next to toggle stuff. If you add more options you obviously need one of uh, these blocks for each options. You have to add them here because uh, here you're able to toggle your code. So I selected item zero is the first option and so on and so on. Um, I also included uh, um, a hooking function and a find pattern function for the signature scanning already for you in here. And also uh, in the hooks and reclass header uh, the the hook already which we will need for the entity list but uh, we will do this in the next video um, to make this bad boy run all you have to do in the options is to change the directories for the uh, include and library directories because mine won't be the same as yours so make sure uh, you downloaded and installed the DirectX SDK June 2010 and include the include folder and library folder for x86. Yes, that's it. 
Um, I will show you this one running in a second. And I'm using the guided hacking injector, which you can download on guidedhacking.com, obviously. And if we inject this one, you will see this. Doesn't look too bad. You can switch between the options here, toggle them on and off. Um, focus check is also already included. So if the window isn't focused, the menu isn't shown, but it will also uh, move with the game. Yeah, that's basically it so far. Um, exit is also included. It will just close the application. Uh, the next video, we will uh, find the entity list. Uh, we will hook there and we will debug the hook and check if every entity is inside our array. That's what we do in the next video. Have a good day.